here guys so I'll be explaining the problem D of educational round 102 so the problem ask us that we have x which is initially 0 and we can either increase it by 1 or we can decrease it by 1 and then we have m queries and the queries in the format uh, l to r which is a range of operation when this range of operations are removed we have to tell how many distinct values does x have so yeah that's the question just and the operation is just this minus plus minus minus plus minus so these are the operations and we remove some uh, segment of these operation and then we have to tell the distinct values the number of distinct values that x attains so i have drawn this sample case here so first of all i'll show you a way to think about it um, okay so i want you to think this is wait a minute okay so okay let think like this x starts from 0 and then we can either decrement x or we can either increment x so whenever we decrement x we move to the left and whenever we increment x we move to the right okay so after some operation it can look like this i move left i move left i move left and then suppose i move right okay and then i move left then i move some more left and then I move right, I move right, move right, move right, move right, move right. So, how many distinct value did we cover? We covered this range of distinct values. So, how much is it? This is, we can denote as the maximum element that X ever achieves in its uh, total operations and this is minimum so the maximum the minimum element that x ever reaches during the operations so it will only cover that segment and that is the number of distinct values of x so i can write distinct values as max minus min plus one okay because um when i subtract these two i'm also losing out one one value so i'll add it back okay so yeah that's it that's the whole idea now you can try to think about implementing it so okay i'll give you an idea of my my implementation so see the thing is let's say i remove this range 3 to 5 this range of operations okay so at each point this is the values that x is attaining so let me write it so this is the values of x so after this operation it becomes minus 1 after addition it becomes 0 subtraction minus 1 then minus 2 then minus 1 minus 2 so yeah this is it so you can think of it as like you can try to find out the effect of you can try to find out the effect that a particular range of operation produces like if i take the sum only in this range then there is a net effect of minus one 
okay there is a net effect of minus 1 that this range is producing so if I remove this range uh, if I remove this range then this effect will be subtracted from the range after it uh, from the elements after it so this minus 2 will be subtracted by 1 this subtracted by 1 this subtracted by minus so it, it will be subtracted by minus 1 so minus minus becomes plus plus uh, this becomes plus and this becomes plus okay and removing this range will have no effect on this part this part will stay as it is there is no effect and this part and in this part there will be effect so let's focus on the max and the min element because that is what matters for us so one thing to observe is that I can find okay so after each point after each operation initially let uh, let's say that we save the minimum element till this point or the maximum element till this point when I'm going down after each update I'm also updating min and max element and at each point I'm saving the min and max element at every point like after this operation I save the min max element after this operation I save min max element at uh, index 2 okay so here when I come here so I can see that whatever the minimum element whatever was the minimum element in this range will still remain minimum after addition of plus 1 because we are adding this 1 uh, to every element so the minimum element in this range will still become still remain minimum so here it was minus 3 so it is now minus 3 plus 1 which is uh, minus 2 and the maximum element in this range will still remain the maximum so maximum element was minus 2 on addition of 1 it it becomes minus 1 so but I also have to consider this range also the upper range and the lower range so here the maximum element was 0 actually so I'll say uh, at the end the maximum element is uh, 0 okay so yeah and the minimum element is minus 2 so distinct elements are 0 minus of minus 2 will become plus 0 plus 2 plus 1 so uh, 3 distinct elements when I remove this range so contribution of this range can be found out by uh, either you can use uh, prefix arrays or you can use a binary index tree but uh, here you can use prefix arrays because uh, we are not uh, changing the operations like I'm I'm not changing minus 1 minus operation to plus operation so it, it is a static array you can use prefix arrays for finding the contribution of a particular segment for this segment the contribution was minus 1 and for this part like finding the minimum element in the lower part and the maximum element in the lower part and the minimum element in the upper part and the maximum element in the upper part so what you will do for finding the minimum element you can use range minimum queries so since it is it is a static array so you can use parse table for that I will provide a link from where you can study the implementation so you can use parse table from that okay so sparse table 
okay so for finding maximum element you can use segment trees uh, segment trees you can write range maximum queries segment tree on google and you will get some articles or i will provide a link to it so you can read that from there so once you find the minimum element in the lower range and the maximum element in the lower range and okay then you subtract the effect of this removed range and uh, after subtracting the effect you get new minimum and new maximum element uh, from the lower range and then you pick the maximum of the upper range or the and the lower range and also you pick the minimum from the upper range and the lower range so and then you apply this formula to get the answer so this uh, answers each query in log in time because rmq with sparse table uh, each query takes o of one time but with uh, the maximum query that i'm looking for maximum element takes o of log in time in segment trees so that's one thing so you can do this uh, if you want to see the code this was my code uh, for this is for range minimum query and uh, this is the build tree which is building the segment tree for maximum query right and uh, okay so this is building the segment tree and now we can query the maximum element from the segment tree so at the end what you have to do is as i told that i'm updating min and max after every operation and then i'm uh, in inserting them in an array or this update function is for the binary index tree you can use prefix arrays instead okay so then you update rmq and like you are i'm building this tree for maximum to do a range max query and yes then i'm answering each query so yeah that's it if you have any feedback you can give it in the comment section below and uh, if you found it helpful you can like the video i'll be posting more such videos so if you want to tune in you can subscribe okay guys bye